Hello and welcome back to A Quick Look. I'm Zoe Jewell and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the biggest Hollywood stars who have yet to host Saturday Night Live. Now obviously SNL has been on air for decades and decades and decades. Some of the most historic, legendary, iconic comedians of our time got their start on it on the very show. Some of the most famous and well-accomplished actors, performers, celebrities have hosted the show, some for multiple times. But you'd be surprised at the number of major A-list stars who have yet to host SNL. In fact, some of these names on this list will genuinely shock you. So I'm going to take you through seven stars who have not hosted yet, but I think should host in the near to very near future because not only are they very well accomplished, talented, but I also think they would do an incredible job on SNL. So let's just jump right into the list, starting off with someone who I was genuinely shocked to find out has never hosted the show before. And that is Sasha Baron Cohen. When I tell you, my jaw dropped when I saw that he hasn't hosted the show yet. Because when I think of Sasha Baron Cohen, I think of comedy and of iconic sketch comedy. He is, he's the king of playing characters, these iconic, legendary characters, and doing them to perfection. And the fact that he hasn't hosted the show blows my mind. Now, he has appeared on the show before, but he has not hosted the show before. And I think he needs to do it like next week because I just think he would do such an amazing job. I mean, Borat, Ali G, like these characters that he has conceived in his mind over the course of his career, this man, this man needs to put his efforts and his talents on SNL. I can only imagine how iconic those sketches could be if he was a part of them. So Lorne Michaels, I don't know what you have to do to get this man to host SNL, but do it because I think collectively as a society, we need it to happen. ASAP, okay? Okay. All right, next on the list, another person that I was genuinely shocked to see has not hosted SNL, given the fact that she has had such a long illustrious career in Hollywood and is considered to be the best actress of all time, if not one of the best actresses of all time, the queen herself, Meryl Streep. Now, when you think of Meryl Streep, you may not go, your mind doesn't go instantly to comedy, right? She's known for her more dramatic performances. She gets into these really, I don't want to say serious characters, but she's played very serious roles before. She's known for her dramatic ability and dramatic range. But if you think about it, especially within the last 20 years of her career, give or take 15 years of her, of her career, she's, she's stepped into more comedy and she's also having like more fun with her career, it seems. And I feel like it all really kicked off when she starred in The Devil Wears Prada, which may be a controversial hot take, but in my opinion, it is her best role of all time. She is absolutely sensational in that role and she's hysterical. She is so funny. And I think, I feel like it may have been one of the first times that like Hollywood in general saw that Meryl genuinely, truly can do it all because as we know, she's been able to do the dramatic, serious performances since she was first starting out as an actor, but then being able to step into the comedy, she is an icon, she's the best. We've also seen her recently do more, even more comedy. Uh, she's been on Only Murders in the Building, which is a comedy show. She's a funny person, even at award shows. She's always playing into the bits she likes to have fun. She doesn't take herself too seriously as a person, which is why I think she needs to host SNL immediately. Because again, because she's the best actress of all time, I think she could do genuinely anything they gave to her. And I think the ability, we've seen SNL work with performers, celebrities who have no acting experience whatsoever, who are, who are not actors. And they're able to give them 
sketches and characters that actually make them seem like good actors, I can only imagine what they could pull out if they were able to write for the acting queen herself, Meryl Streep. So again, needs to happen ASAP, ASAP. All right, moving on. Now this actor is not, I don't know, I do think he's A-list, but I don't think he's, he's still relatively young. He's in his 30s. He's been kind of out of the limelight for the last handful of years, but I think got his start when he was really young, starting in a film that won Best Picture when he was quite young as well. And it's Mr. Dev Patel. Now, I absolutely love Dev Patel. I think he is so talented. I think he is so charming. I don't know why he isn't on the same level of stardom as other actors like a Timothy Chalamet or other actors in that kind of age range. Like this man needs to be a literal movie star. He needs to be starring in romantic comedies. He needs to be the top line name on like a major action film, which actually we'll get to that in a little bit because he is going to be. He just should be a much bigger star and much more famous than he actually is. And I think part of that is his own doing. I don't think he loves the spotlight maybe as much as other actors do, but I think he's so talented. People love him and people, I think also recognize how talented he is and his ability as an actor and what he can and can't do. And I think the list of what he can't do is very, very small, which is why I need to see him on a sketch comedy show. Also because I feel like for the, a majority of his career, what he's done has been pretty serious and pretty heavy that I would love to see him do something more fun, light, silly, et cetera, et cetera. Also, speaking of an action star and being an action lead, lead in an action film, he has a movie coming out this April called Monkey Man, which is being, I think it's being produced by Jordan Peele, which is pretty iconic. This is a movie that not only is Dev starring in, but he is directing and he wrote and it's an action film. So seems like the perfect time because he's going to have to promote that film. Seems like a perfect time for him to host SNL. I don't know. I'm just saying. And if he does end up hosting SNL when this film comes out in April, you heard it here first. Okay, moving on to another legendary actress who... I'm going to keep saying that I was shocked to see these people that, that they haven't hosted SNL, but I was shocked to see she hasn't hosted SNL and it's Sandra Bullock. And Sandra Bullock, I think is really underrated in terms of her ability to do comedy and like fun, silly performances. When I think of, I mean, obviously she's had such an iconic career. She's been in so many movies, but for me, as a millennial woman, when I think of Sandra Bullock, I think of Miss Congeniality, and she's so funny and so, like, she's so great and charismatic in that performance. I feel like that kind of, that essence, I think, translates well into SNL, but she's also done so many other types of films over the course of her career. She's done Serious, she's done the romantic comedy, the proposal, that kind of stuff. So she, she really has the ability to do everything, and I would love to see her host because I think I think she would and I also think she she can probably do things that we don't always expect that she can do. Like I think she could pull out pull off a character that maybe we wouldn't expect her to be able to pull off. So I I want to see her host SNL. I think she's very talented. I think she's so iconic and so great and we need her on the show. All right. Moving on. Denzel Washington has not hosted Saturday Night Live. Again, much like Meryl Streep, he maybe isn't someone you think of when you think of like comedy and someone that can do a comedic performance, but Denzel can do anything. Give this man literally any role, he can do it. He's maybe, I mean, he's definitely one of the best actors of his generation. Some say he's the best. I think he's definitely one of the best. And I think because Denzel kind of has that more like serious demeanor, I think that actually could translate really well onto SNL. And I think he can really play into that. Um, and I think he would be so fantastic and so great. 
And again, because he's such a, he's been in so many films, he's such a legendary movie star, I'm surprised he hasn't done it sooner, but maybe he's at the point of point at in his career now where he's willing to maybe have a little bit more fun, be a little bit more silly, goofy. Maybe he can bring his son along, another great actor, John David Washington. Maybe they can do some stuff together. I just, I'm curious to see what a Denzel Washington SNL episode is like. So let's get on that ASAP. I, I keep saying that. I keep saying ASAP, but like, I'd like all these actors to be, to host SNL within the next year, if at all possible. <laughs> all right. Next on the list, she's still young, has a lot of time left to do it, but she, I'm surprised it's actually taken as long as it has for her to host, Zendaya. Zendaya is, as I mentioned, she's young. She's in, she's in her 20s, but she's arguably the biggest star in Hollywood right now. I can't think of an actress like under the age of, 40, 35, who is as big and as global as Zendaya. She obviously, I mean, I think she's probably best known. Well, there's lots of things she's known for. She, she's the star of the television show Euphoria. She's been in the latest Spider-Man films. She's also in Dune and the Dune franchise. She is so talented. She's She can do so many different types of performances, as I just mentioned. I mean, Euphoria, Spider-Man, and Dune, all three very different projects, different themes, and she can pull it all, all off so well, so effortlessly. And again, she's like one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, so I think it's only right that she then brings that onto the SNL stage. I, we, we know Dune's coming out very, very soon. She's got other things in the works. She has another movie coming out in April. I would not be shocked if we see Zendaya host this year because of all the projects she has coming out. So I'm going to manifest that. Zendaya, SNL host, 2024. All right. Last, but certainly not least, Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio. When you think of Leo, you don't Again, think of comedy necessarily, but Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, is a very funny actor. And I think if you want proof of that, you go watch Wolf of Wall Street. He's hilarious in that movie. Now, very unique character, very specific, but he was genuinely hilarious in that film. He was also very funny in um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as well. Again, not like a traditional comedy necessarily, but very, very funny, was able to pull off that kind of stuff. And like Meryl and Denzel and the other great actors, he can pull off anything. He can genuinely do anything. I think the reason he hasn't hosted, again, is because his career has been, especially in his early, like probably in his 20s, 30s, was so serious and so like, he, he really wanted to be seen as like an actor actor. And I think he maybe felt like if he did SNL, it would take away from that. Cause you have to be silly and kind of goofy in your SNL performance. But now again, he's like, he's done lots of other different types of projects. He might be kind of like willing to try new things and experiment. So SNL, Leo, give it a shot. Also honorable mention, speaking of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Brad Pitt hasn't hosted SNL. And I know this is kind of cheating because I said seven stars and he's, I'm now mentioning an eighth, but Brad Pitt should host SNL too. I don't know why he hasn't hosted. It's kind of shocking. Anyway, those are seven, sort of eight, major stars that I would love to see host SNL in the near future. Lord Michaels, as I said, get on the phone, call these people. We need to see this happen. We need to see these stars hosting SNL. If there's anybody that you want to see host SNL that you haven't gotten a chance to see, maybe a young star, a legendary star, an up and coming star, let us know in the comments who you want to see host SNL. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.